Hello, in this video we are going to look at the if statement which is part of decision making also called conditional statements. So the if statement allows you to check if a condition is true. If a condition is true then it allows you to run a piece of code. If not then you don't run that piece of code. So it's great if let's say, I don't know, the user inputs something, maybe it's an option from a menu and maybe the option is to go to, if it's in, you know, in the case of a game, it goes to, you know, you know, two player mode. If they've chosen that option, you can check that using this statement. You go to two player mode. If not, you do something else. Okay, so we're gonna create a variable. So I'll say int or equals four. And we are gonna do an if statement. So if, so this is the structure of it. So if i is equal to four, so the structure is you put the keyword if, you put two brackets and inside here you put your condition. If this results in a value of true, so if i does equal to four, then it runs the code within these curly braces. So I'll put system.out.println yay value is four so if we run it it says yay value is four but if i were to change this to five however you'll see nothing gets printed out because when it goes to this line it says does i equal to four so it's saying does five equal four no it doesn't so this returns false and because it's false this you know statement is never met you know at its core that's all a if statement is. There are sort of two other branches we'll look at, and you can add an else if. So an else if allows you to say, if you know this condition is not true, let's check for another condition. So we'll say if i equals equals five, and I'll copy this out just to say some time. I'll say not as good but value is a five. So if I run it, ooh, what is going on here? Okay, so let's run it again. So yeah, not as good but value is five. If I put this back, it says yay value is four. It only goes within here. So to further demonstrate this, so if I were to do the greater than thing, the greater than symbol. So if, I uh, probably best if I increase this number. So if I say, so if i is greater than four, so if I do five, Uh, I mean, I'm meant to change this, so, so I'll just change this. So ignore what it actually says. So if i is greater than five, which it is, it does, you know, print this out. You might think if you were to set this to around 22, which technically this condition comes out as true, and this one, because 22 is greater than five, and 22 is greater than 10, it should print out both lines, but it only prints out the first one, because if you do else, this will ever only get checked if the previous statement is false. But if we were to just do a regular if statement, both conditions will be checked. Else only gets checked if the previous condition in that branch was false. And what you can also do, so I'll change this back to, you know, what it was, and change this to equals, and I'll put this in five. You can also have another else if you can have you know as many else if as you want like so we could do six and i'll just print out six for this one so if i run it okay i need to change the value so what it does it goes through this it says is i equal to four so is six equal to four no else if is i equal to five so is six equal to five no is I equal to six, so is six equal to six? Yes, it is. Values or validates is true, and now it prints this line out. The final branch you can look at is else, so there is no if keyword or no brackets after this. 
this is just saying if all else fails, so if every other condition within this if you know conditional statement results as false, just pull back to this line. So if I do system dot out dot print l l n, I'll just say pull back. And if I were to run it right now, it'll print out six. If I were to change this to seven or anything other than four, five, and six, it prints out four back. So that's you know the if statements in general. One last thing I will actually show you is you can add multiple conditions within any of these branches. To do that, you separate it by either a double and or a double you know vertical pipe and we covered this in the operator video but the double line basically is saying so if i say if i so i'll do a range for this one so if i is greater than five uh, and i is less than let's say 10 we print this out so what this is basically saying is if i is greater than four or less than 10 so the valid values are five six seven and eight because it's and nine, sorry, four, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, because it's an integer, we can't have decimals, so those are the absolute valid values, and this double ampersand means that this has to validate as true, and this has to validate as true. So if I were to just, okay, leave it at seven, and if I run it, it says yay value is four, so we, you know, it goes into here. If, for example, I was to change this to 11, it goes into fallback because both conditions are not true. But if I were to do it like this, the first line will now print out because it's saying, does i is i greater than 4? Yes, it is. And it's saying, or is i less than 10? i is, isn't less than 10, but or only requires one of the conditions to validate as true. And you can actually add as many of these no conditions as you want or you know double ampersand you can add as many as you want or as little as you want so that's it for the if statements in, within you know the conditional decision making realm if you have any questions feel free to reach out there will be source code alongside this video via a github page and i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome java video